Come on over here. And I'm letting you know now we already rolling, so. Uh-uh, right here. We, yeah. Uh-uh, right here. So what's going on? Oh, you gotta talk up. What's going uh, on? Mike's in jail. Who? Boys. Mike's in jail. Mike in jail? Yep. So um, what happened? He had some kind of fatal peers, I guess. Um, some misdemeanors, and they, um... He on the other side arrested. of the car. So Mike in jail, he had some, he had some misdemeanors fatal to appear. I know one of them was, I think mean, three of them are that, didn't know that. You say what? I, I, you gotta turn around and face the camera. Three of them are that, uh -huh. didn't know that. What else? Um, and then I think like a trespassing misdemeanor, whatever. So how you, how you get locked so, up? So, um, he's grabbing some girl's butt and going this way and then all of a sudden, hey, no, whatever. And I just, I'm like, I go that, uh, towards where we were staying with that couple. Can and anybody even I hear you? Hear, I can't help it, man. It's other parts. No, no, it's you, it's you. Um, I have no voice though. Um, oh, you gotta turn around so, and face the camera. Well, I'm for, you know, I'm kind of paranoid here. You paranoid for what? I've been up. How long have you been up? For a minute. It's Listen. A, probably Friday. So, so. So I hear some men hollering as I'm in another parking lot with, you know, and I go around the corner of a building and then I see a cop freeze. He's got out, but I couldn't see he was on the ground. But the I cop said freeze. Yeah, he had him, you know, pointing. He said, and I heard the man say, "I'm not going nowhere." You know, I'm good, you know, this, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm surrendering, whatever, no, right. pro no problem, no, uh, without injury. <laughs> What's that, uh, they say, we took it into custody without that word. So, the man on the ground was Mike? I couldn't see, but I, I could hear the voice, and I was like, oh, shit. So, I so went, I didn't um, go, go over there. And, you know, did Mike call you when he got downtown? Immediately. And what, what, did you talk, what, what was the conversation? Baby. Come get me. Oh, I just, I was like, oh, wait a minute, you know. Like he's big, you know. You know, he was nice, but uh, we weren't, we were getting along good. He went and got me like a little oh, rose or um, and some supper and. No, I wanna know about the conversation downtown. Um, so he said, I said, where are you, Sergeant? Um, oh, I just was a old, uh, misdemeanor uh, trespassing and, uh, yeah, 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 you know, and I said, well, I don't know. I said, well, when you find out, call me. So, I knew nothing about this. I mean, I don't have, I got some stuff I'm looking towards, but, um, I don't know about bail bondsmen and, uh, this and that. And who to call. How much was the bond? Two thousand bucks. Two thousand dollars. So that's two hundred with a bond. So, the one that I called, it, a friend of mine had gave me the name of, wouldn't touch him, because he's got three failure to appear, Mr. Mayor's. So they won't touch me. I got three fades up here. Okay, so okay, let's back up a little bit because uh, you leave out a whole lot about it. Um, you call me and say, Mike, say, uh, call video man to get him out of jail. So you call me and say, hey, Mike Bond is $2,000. Can you help me get him out? And I said, okay, well, you just got your check. You just got your check three days. I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking. You got your check three days ago. You had $1,000. So how much you got toward the, the $2,000? And you give me thirty dollars and tell me uh, to go down and help you get him out. But all you got to help him might get out is thirty. Hold on, I'm talking. All you got, all you got, gave. I got it right here. It's thirty dollars, and I'm gonna have to pick the rest with it. But my thing is, you been buying eight balls and shit for the last three days. Uh, you been up for five days. All that shit. It's pretty. That's pretty bad. Uh, listen, and then all you got is thirty dollars to help Mike get out. So you acting like you calling the bells, bonds, and all this shit. Now you telling me. That won't nobody touch him because he got failure to appear. I'm telling you, you gotta call multiple bondsmen until you find one that will touch him. You can't just call one I because you really want to. Because you really want to spend your thirty dollars, so you only gonna call one and give up and say, "Oh, uh, yeah, uh, we called one guy. He, he said he won't touch him. Get my thirty dollars back, and then you finna go spend that shit." So what I'm saying is, it's tacky. If we, it's real sad. It, it, but it's what's going on, though. I'm not slow. Oh, I, I, absolutely. Never insulted your intelligence. Yeah, you can't insult my intelligence. Not, not when it comes to the street shit. Yeah. Now you, now you telling me, hey, uh, he got three fades to appear. Won't nobody touch him. Give me my thirty dollars back. Then you're gonna spend that thirty dollars. Then you're gonna call me back tomorrow and say we found a bondsman. But then you're gonna spend your last last dollars. Then uh, it's all on video, man. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this right here. 
The only way I get, I think Mike need to stay in there until he detox. Yeah. But I, I understand how it feel to be in there. I know. And I know, I, know. I can't force Mike to change. So me leaving him in there won't, 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 won't help him get clean. Because he going to get back out and do what he want to do unless he want to change himself. I said to him. But, but what I'm saying me. is, if y'all want my help, you going to have to go to your mama house. You going to have to get sober. I got to see that you pay for for effort. If not, I'm not giving a fuck about Mike or you. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a motherfucking goddamn cash man to call for y'all to get high, to get 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 y'all out of jail, and y'all still smoke crack. If you want Mike out of jail, I'm gonna take you over there. You wanna go to your mama house, Hollywood house, and you stay there for five or six days clean, and come up with the rest, the, uh, the, uh, at least half of the money that we're gonna need to get him out, and I pick up the other half. If you spend it, his ass stay in jail. You understand? Is that a deal? That's a deal. That's a deal. Acting like, that's, it's crazy, KD. It's, it's, it's way. What, what's the purpose of me going to get him out? What's the purpose of doing all this drug and so not fun? I'm asking you a question. I know, this is ridiculous. And now, I really think he should be there to, no, I'm to about, get better. To, for you. Um, you know, some rest, but no, that's, you know. He don't need to be in jail. Nobody, no, nobody need to be in jail. jail yeah, he no. can find help when he won't help. Yeah. But my thing is, I don't want him to be there. Oh, you asking me to go get Mike out of jail so you and him continue to get high? No. So what's going to happen? I said to him, this is a wake up call. I said, this is, I want to come get you and I just want us to go home. Like, went home, but yeah. And I said, watch TV and sleep and rest and get our bodies back where they need to be. Well, listen, I'm, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. So you, you, uh, I'm, you, you, want, you want me to take you where you need to go? Please. Please. I got you. Uh, hey, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because she's getting on my nerves. She been up five or six goddamn days. Same guy and Mike too with the same clothes, getting on people nerves, spent all the goddamn money. Now it's video man turn to come and bail them out of jail, bail them out of every situation, give them money when they need it. Now it, they call video man. If, if, if she want Mike out of jail, I help her get him out. Only if you stay clean, go to your mama house for five or six days. All right? All right. If not his ass, if not, Mike stay in jail. I promise you that.